Fantasia was Walt Disney's third animated feature film. It was basically an anthology film. It included eight segments, the most popular of which was The Sorcerer's Apprentice, featuring Mickey Mouse attempting his master's magic, but his way in over his head and can't keep it under control. Over 40 years later, a video game based on the segment was released, and about another 40 years later, I'm going to review it. Released in 1983 for the Atari 2600, The Sorcerer's Apprentice puts you in the role of Mickey, whose mission it is to prevent the cavern from flooding. There are two screens where the game mainly takes place on, the mountain screen and the cavern screen, with a transitional screen to travel between the two. In the mountain screen, meteors and stars fall from the sky, and your objective is to shoot them down with your wand, and you can also catch the stars. When the stars fall between the mountains, the water level in the cavern will rise. If you hit a meteor, it will create empty buckets in the cavern. The meter at the bottom of the screen indicates how bad the flooding is getting, and when it reaches the end, it's game over. On the cavern screen, the infamous walking brooms will make their way to the bottom of the screen. You need to collect the brooms which will, in turn, make room for the walking buckets to move up the screen and start bailing out the water. At any point, you can exit either screen and play the other instead. So basically you've got two kinda sorta mini games that are pretty distinct from each other. It's kind of like chess boxing, where you play alternating rounds of completely different games, and you can win or lose the match in either instance. On the other hand, neither of these two screens are particularly exciting. The speed does increase as the game goes on, so it's not as monotonous as it could be, and there are four levels of speed you can start the game off with, but other than that, and having the ability to toggle whether or not you can use the rapid fire by holding down the button, there aren't any other game variations, so it doesn't take long to get old. But on the other hand, the game is intended for young children, and the slowest game speed is frozen molasses slow. So an extreme novice, like a four-year-old who has never played a video game in their life, can get the hang of it. So it does do its job as far as target audience is concerned, the graphics are pretty decent for what they are, and the controls are generally good although you may find yourself feeling like you're in quicksand when going up the stairs. But in the end, the game leaves much to be desired.